Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. So last October, members of the Alberta Union of Provincial Employees, as well as other workers standing in solidarity, engaged in a work stoppage. This work direct action was done without the approval and perhaps knowledge of the union executive. It was planned and orchestrated by the workers themselves, following yet another announcement of the provincial government planning to lay off thousands of public sector workers, this time in healthcare. Unauthorized strike like this are called wildcat strikes. In some of the rhetoric I saw online regarding this strike, I saw people referring to it as illegal, including elected officials and Alberta Health Services. I wanted to talk about that usage. Wildcat strikes aren't illegal in the same sense that stealing a car or killing someone or embezzling money is illegal. Here's some background on the illegality of wildcat strikes. On the 12th of September 1945, workers at a Ford plant in Windsor, Ontario, went on strike. That strike ended when the union accepted a joint settlement plan three months later, which was put forward by the federal and provincial governments calling for arbitration. Ivan Rand was appointed arbitrator, and much of his 29th of January 1946 ruling had to do with union security, specifically allowing unions to get employers to deduct dues from paychecks, otherwise known as check off, regardless of whether a worker was technically a union member. However, that award came with some conditions, and some of which I'll list here. You can read the entire text of Rand's award at the link in the description box below. Every strike by the Ford auto workers must be called by the union through a secret ballot vote overseen by a government official. Any strike not called by a vote must be repudiated by union officials within 72 hours. Plus, these officials should specifically call it illegal and non-binding on the members. Ford workers participating in such a strike could be fined up to $3 a day for every day not worked and lose a year's seniority for every week or part thereof not worked, not including any actions the Ford company wanted to take. And if the union calls the strike or fails to repudiate it, they could have their checkoff suspended for two to six months. Now keep in mind that this award was specific to workers at the Ford plant. However, employers and unions have used it as a precedent since then for their own collective bargaining. As you can see, it's only illegal in the sense that the union and the employer, I guess, declares it so. Plus decades of convention and precedent. It's not illegal in the sense that it breaks a statute in the criminal code. And we should remember that union executives are elected by the workers to represent the workers. Ultimately, the power is in the hands of the workers collectively, whether it's in choosing the union executive or it's in organizing a strike without a vote. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimseaver.ca. You can also follow me on social media. Just search for Kim Siever on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Please click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.